Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a couple things to unbox. Uh, these are flashlight related, so if you don't like flashlights, sorry, it's not gonna be the video for you. I'm carrying my Barrel M2JN, I think it is. You guys may have seen a shenanigans video on this. I'm not sure if I posted it or not. When I got this and I got the uh, <clears throat> DLC ring, and the Cerakoted sleeve, and I got the DLC clip. Well, that clip was just absolutely insanely tight. I talked to Barrel about it, and uh, I ended up returning it. They were cool with that. And they basically just said they have different clips for different tensions, and that clip just happens to be the one that has the strongest tension, um, you know, which they said some people like because it doesn't go anywhere. You know, if it's not something you're taking in and out of your pocket all the time, then, you know, kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, anyway, I threw on this Magizmo cracked ice clip, which is absolutely gorgeous and I think works extremely well, in my opinion. Some people don't like this clip, obviously, but I love it. I wish these lined up. I don't know why they didn't design it that way. Kind of silly, right? They have clips that have holes in them. So why wouldn't you have had these holes line up right in the center of those two screws so that if somebody has a clip like this, it would line up with the holes. I don't know. I find that interesting, right? Um, maybe I'm overthinking it. But anyway, this thing's sick. It's an absolute monster. I mean, this is a Dragon Driver V3. 16, uh, 340 battery, but it cooks, man. And it's got good uh, heat dissipation. I really love the barrel M2JN or the brake, uh, whichever version this is. I think this is an M2JN because it's chamfered or whatever. I'll be able to compare better when I get my other one back, uh, which is on its way home from being modded. Same model, basically, just has a Timascus ring, um, has their other milled clip, and then it has a titanium sleeve inside. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, what we're unboxing is a few batteries this is just a quick thing i uh decided to buy more again i don't know i'm i think i'm crazy um but whatever so these are the keep power 18 350s i hope and i didn't realize they come in these things You can get these on uh, Illume.com. I should really get a link or something from them because I constantly buy shit there. But, oh, that would have been easier. Damn, all that in there. That's what she said. Come on. Just going to throw you away so you don't need to be... Okay. Um, so these are 18 350s and these are the best ones in my opinion uh so figure i'm stocking up on these they are 1200 milliamp hour which is the best you're gonna get i think in the category with high discharge rate so yes you can get a 1400 milliamp hour 18 350 but that 18350 is going to have 3 amps max discharge, which is kind of pointless on a triple LED like this. You're not going to get as much juice. You're not going to get a, a high like this. You know what I mean? Um, but this is the next best thing. This is 1100 milliamp hour, and it's 10 amp max discharge from va vape cell. But this is 1200 and 10 amp. So why wouldn't you go with that, right, if you had the choice? You get 4.44 watt hours versus 4 watt hours. So you just get a little more, a little more juice. And then these are the other vape cells that are readily available. These are 9 amp max discharge, 11 milliamp hours. So almost identical. Actually has a little bit more watt hours. Probably because you're not, uh, you're not using as much amps. I don't know. But um, they're all good. They all work. I haven't had issues really with any of them. The only annoying thing is. The vape cells come with these stupid stickers on them. It says, scratch me off. That's what she said. And sometimes they get a little, like, they peel. And then you try to put it in a flashlight. And it starts getting 
you know, stuck, and then you take it off, and you end up with this adhesive on here that wants to stick, so now your battery's like sticking to the wall or your flashlight. It's just dumb. These look cleaner. They have more juice. I, like, why wouldn't you just, you know, if you had the option. These are more expensive, so there's that. These are uh, $5.99 a piece or $4.99 a piece. You think about it, batteries, they're going to last you. I, you know, I don't, I don't think the cost matters unless they're stupid. You can get them on Amazon, actually, those keep powers, and you can get them for um, 20 bucks for two shipped, which is pretty much what you're paying at illum.com, I-L-L-U-M-N.com, because you're paying shipping, you know? So now I'm going to have more batteries than I have containers, I'm going to have to figure all this out because I'm an idiot and I keep buying more. So, speaking of flashlights, <laughs> we have one here. This is one I just picked up on the secondary. I have a couple coming. I actually have a bunch coming right now. I have three, I think, that I got modded from my buddy uh, Artie. And then I have uh, this one. And then I have the new Dawson Comet the 18650 light. He was kind of sent me a tester. Um, and then I think I'm waiting on a Hanko. And I found a uh, CWF Groovy Peanut, which is pretty sick, by the way. All right, that's funny. He sent it in a Cladis 3, 3D Studios box. Shout out to Cladis. He makes fidgets. So this is a Laulima that I decided I wanted to try. And they don't really make them anymore. And if you see them, they're pretty expensive. Um, I got this for 400 on the secondary. It's a pretty plain titanium one. But you can see it was built in 2020, July 4th. Hey, look at that. Uh, tie tumbled, plain head, 219C, 4K, dragon green. Sapphire window, car glow optic. Now, I can mess with all that stuff. So... Comes in this nice package. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I always felt like it looks like a uh, boss, like an overready boss. I should grab that to show you. We're going to do some surgery on this puppy. I can already tell. Man, their threads are incredible. The machining is really, really good. I'm um, probably going to swap the switch and clean up these threads. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's amazing what you see when you get flashlights on the secondary. It really is. Um, the way, you know, I think you just can tell if somebody used it or not, basically. Grab my case here. We can look through a few. I'll show you some comparisons. This is the Dawson Machine Craft Starfall. Don't know if they're going to bring these back. They may, so it's probably worth showing you some stuff here. This is that barrel, M2JN. Basically the same size. Basically the same size. Um, this is a 16340 because they have the sleeve design in there for aesthetics. This is an 18350, which is nice. I love the design on this. Wow. And one thing I love about La Lima is they have a good clip. <laughs> Like, it just comes with a good clip. Oh, my God. Yes, comes with a good clip. Now, this one in particular has an insane amount of ramp on it. I, I don't know if I need that much ramp. i um, wondering if I could grab my, uh, grab my Knip X and just bend that down a little bit. I'm just curious if that's going to catch on some shit because that is a hell of a lot of ramp. For instance, here's my other... La Lima, this is the um, Ion Slim with the Dr. Jones driver. And you can see the ramp on that clip. Nowhere near as high. Um, now this one, yeah, goes in pocket all the same. Here's a size comparison. This is the 14500 light, so it's slimmer and longer. Um, I have the other La Lima clip on something. Is it this guy? No. Is it this guy? Yep. So again, it's like, why? Why is it so huge? 
That's what she said. Also, I'm thinking black screws would look sick. So we're going to mess with that shit. That's for sure. Um, I don't think I'll throw a different clip on. I, I like the La Lima stuff, so I'll probably stick with it. I'm just going to see if I can bend it, or maybe I have an extra already. We'll see. It does look thicker, though. Like, compare that clip. I don't know. Is it me or... Yeah, it's thicker stock. Interesting. Older clip. So maybe it's how they used to make them. I don't know. But we'll see if I'll be able to bend that easily. Uh, more Here's the boss. This is the one I feel like it really resembles. So the boss is shorter. Right? But they have a lot of similarities, right? I mean, I guess not really. But they both kind of have that torpedo look basically. And then they both have this craniolated bell. So it depends on which version of each you have, right? Like some of these come with milling in the head and whatnot. This tumbled finish is really nice. It's, it's held up extremely well for sure. So there's the boss. Um, here's a Hanko. This is a twist. So Hanko is going to be, oh wow. I thought it'd be shorter. It's about the same height. Why does it seem shorter, but then you stand it up and it's not? Interesting. Huh. Yeah, almost identical. I love the size. Anything else you guys want to see? Here's a CWF Arcadian. Again, about the same size. Slightly bigger on the Arcadian. This has a disgusting Prometheus Design Works uh, cover on it. So let us mess with that. Let's deal with this. Yeah, let's let's knock this out. Say, shall we? So the first thing we're gonna do is pull this out. Can I do it by hand? Ah, yeah. All right. So interesting. There's an O-ring around the switch around the. Okay. So I want this O-ring. Don't want that cover at all. Ugh. Eesh. I like stiff boys. You know what I mean? There's an O-ring around that. I usually swap the switches out, but we should test it. See if it's necessary. So here's the cover I'm going to put on it. I don't know how that'll react with the uh, little O-ring there. Got my lime. LaCroix key lime. All right, so let's see. Drop that down. It might not even work with this. No, it works. Feels pretty stiff, boy. I should put a battery in here, huh? See if any of these are charged. Nope, none of those are charged. Let's see how you do, sir. <laughs> Idiot. I think the switch is okay. I just don't know what's going on with that O-ring. So I'm going to see if I can pull it. Get my little plastic hook here. See if we can pull that just so we can figure out why. Like, why is it there? So I don't see a purpose. Like, what is it protecting? Because there's there's holes there that were exposed anyway. So if water got in there, water's getting in there, right? It's tight. That clip is loose. Okay. So, I'm grab a T10. Whoa, whoops.
get rid of that. Hmm. I mean, I have a bunch of switches. I should probably just go for it. That's why I do it, right? That's why I buy them. Should have taken that out first. There we go. There's a look inside. I really need to do a video on how to replace switches because, yeah, probably time for that one to go, huh? Grab one here. Now, some people say it's best to, like, file. The, you see how this end here kind of stops right there? On a new McClicky switch, which it looks, well, I guess it looks the same. I think he started making them different. So now it doesn't have that pokey end to it. So it should be good. And I never do it. But. Okay, so here's our switch cover. It's already disgusting for some reason. Uh, I'm going to put this switch cover that I hate over here. And then we got some cleaning to do. So first, I'm just going to clean everything. That kind of makes the most sense to me. Let's get this O-ring off of here. Oh, my God. Watch this. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought, honestly. Pretty clean. So that's good. Uh-oh. Look at that. Shit. Oh, ring shredding. Um, okay. See what we can do about that. Ooh, I wonder. This looks like the right size, maybe, this glow one. not going to go in the same spot. It's not going to glow or anything. But let's see if it works. Sometimes they're too thick and then the body can't close right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, seems like a perfect fit. And there's a little added benefit. It glows, but it's not going to do us any good. I mean, you know what I mean? But I think this this green one, which is kind of, I think something Lalima's has used in the past, um, is too small. So I could always ask them or look on their website. I'm sure they sell O-rings and shit, but I don't think I need it. I think we're good here. Which is why I stock up on this random shit. I have another thing of those glow rings somewhere, so... All right, so we got that. Um, the driver, so I want to test this driver tool. Check this out. It's from Barrel. You can literally take the driver. Now, I got to be careful because I see solder on there, but let's just see if this works. That's what I worry about, the ones that have solder in them. Hey, you hear that click? That didn't sound good. So you literally just place it on the tool. It works with most drivers, not all. I've found. I'm not too worried because I'm pretty sure these threads are going to work with a CWF. So if I have to put a, a new quantum in here, I can. I honestly might because this is 4K and I like 5. But I was thinking I'd just test it out and see how I like it. But this guy has green secondary. And I think I have extra green yeah, tritium, but I'm actually saving that for something. Man, this is gross, dude. Is this glass coming out or? Yep. Okay. All right. Full on surgery session here. Oh, there's a glow ring in there. Interesting. Alright, clean that up. I 
Actually, I'm going to get some alcohol on here. Just to, you know, oh, get everything clean. That I can. I like to make it as clean as possible, you know what I mean? And then it's my turn to dirty it up. You know what I mean? I think that's the way to do it. And there's nothing wrong with the way this came. I mean, guy sold it as is. You know, I usually clean stuff up before I send it, but I get a lot of stuff. And, you know, a lot of it's new, basically, because A, I do this, or B, I just have so much that I don't um, use it enough to have it end up like that. All right. Let that dry. Let's look at this. We have a... Um, 10507 Carclo Optic, which is cool. And we have a blue glow gasket, which is nice. So we have an extra now. And then we have this guy with the, was it green, right? Um, I did order more tritium. But I am waiting on a flashlight ah, that has, where is that guy? Ugh. I'm waiting on a flashlight that has green specifically. So I don't know if I want to use up my green one. Although, wait, that one was for something I don't have yet. So let's just do it. I still have this guy here. The one that has three colors. I like that one. So I use this UV so I can see t tritium during the day. It's nice. Shout out to Steve. He gifted me that flashlight and I hated it. But it is probably my most used light. And he probably loves that. Alright. So, we now have a green tritium optic. We're going to put a glow gasket in too. We have some options. We could obviously just go green. Um, but we do have some of these white ones that kind of glow green. See, that one's kind of green. They're kind of greenish blue, but it counts. And the yellow is like basically green anyway. Um, that blue is different, right? Look at that. I don't know what this is made out of. That's interesting. Like, here's a blue hyper glow gasket. Now they look the same. Maybe they don't last as long. I don't know. But put them both in here. So, I guess I'll just go with the green one. Although, I want to use that in the light that I'm expecting. So, let's just do this. It's greenish. And the tritium will make it look green, I'm sure. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright. So... Set this on here. Look at that. Lined up first time. Hell yeah. Then you take this. Place it on. And with the tritium in there, sometimes you got to kick a leg in or something like that. Just to get it in. There you go. Then double check. Do you see all three LEDs? Yes, I do. All right. Now. We have to get this O-ring seated before we do anything because if you if you try to place this on top of the glass and put everything, stack it, it's not gonna work. I've tried it. So what I do is I take my straight edge plastic, not that one. Take my straight edge plastic pick, drop that O-ring in, let it start sinking down. And then you got to hook it from this side down to the bottom. Like this. This is why I like the ones that are set up where the glass is like stuck in there. Because you don't have to worry about this part. 
and it looks cooler. Um, and if you're wondering if I could use that glow ring here, no, it's too thick. This one's not as thick as that one. I do need to get some, if I could get some in this size, I could put those in like everything, but especially ones like this that are going to be green. I mean, it's perfect, right? So now usually, yeah, it'll hold. So now we take our glass, place it on top. We hope that we didn't mix up soldering when we loosened it, but we'll see. Then we place the head on, and then we back off to get on the thread, and we tighten it down. And honestly, because I'm doing tritium, I'm going to hand tighten everything, so I don't even need this base, but let me just get it out of here. This thing's cool. It works really well. Uh, you know what I meant to do? Shit. God damn it. What I want to do, since I put alcohol and everything in there, I want to put a little bit of Niogel in. So I just take it like this, let a little bit out, and then I'll get it on the inside of the threads. In a few places. And then kind of use my finger to get it in. I don't know how much actually remains after that. Now I just need to be careful so I don't get it on the uh, glass. That. While we're here, we can put a little on the threads down here. And that O-ring. That O-ring rotted because it didn't have uh, lubrication. So that's why I like to make sure there's a little bit. And that is why I said it's okay that the uh, flashlight was dirty because you... You have to have some of this stuff in there for, helps with the electrical, whatever, current connection or whatever it's called. And then um, it also, you know, obviously lubricates too, so that you don't have a super raw thing going on. So she said, you're not raw dogging it. So there we go. Now, ideally, I would tighten it, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it to get that lubrication all spread out, but I think it's fine. So, we're hand tightening because with the tritium, if you over tighten it, you are bound to break the tritium vial because it literally gets seated. You drill through the top of the optic right? You drill through those legs here, here, and here. You drill through and then you push a tritium vial in, okay? So it's up against the top of the optic. So if you over tighten it, you're bound to pop the tritium basically. And you can ask me how I know that. The answer is because I popped the shit out of some of these. All right, should be good. All right, head complete. Let's 
check on this. See if I can crank this guy down a little bit because I, I really don't like how high up that is. So basically, I want to grab it and then try to bend it right here. Ah, nah. I can't get a good enough grip on it. I need a vise or something that I don't have right now. So it should be okay. We'll see what other options we have, though. Let's deal with the switch now. Flip it over. So for the switch, we're putting a new one in. So you basically just... Doop. For this, I do not put lubricant. I don't know why. I just never do. And I tend to never have issues. So I don't think it requires it. But I don't know. I guess it's kind of dumb thinking if I'm worried about it up here. But actually, so I put it on the tool. And then I get it situated. And I just tighten it down. And this thing allows you to get a good grip, crank it in, and you're good to go. Now your switch is in there. Then, I guess we could test everything before we go finishing up. So for this, because I did put the gel on, I'm just going to tighten, loosen. Tighten, loosen. Now check the head because sometimes that loosens like immediately. Nope. All right. Let's check if I can see the tritium. Looks like all three are still good. All right. We have green secondary. All three are lit up. And sorry, I'm checking something. I can see them all, so that's good. Yeah, I'll try this out. It seems better than, seems more like, I guess it's 4K, it's hard to tell. Um, so let's put the cover on. I wanna see what the difference is with this and without it. So first one, I'm just gonna drop it in. So without it, tail stand's not an issue, obviously. Nice, needs a little bit of pressure to push, but nothing crazy. Okay, with the O-ring. I don't know how, I guess you would put it on before you tighten it, I don't know. You almost need two of these and so take one of these. Like I'm doing surgery over here. Oh, I had it too. Did I have a rip in it? You see that? Okay. So, first things first. It's not covering up the holes. Right? You can see the holes. So, it's not doing anything in regards to water protection. Put this on. I don't notice any kind of difference. I'm just trying to think of why it's there. Maybe it lifts it up a little bit. I like it better without, actually. I think it's more sensitive with it. All right, anyway, let me take this one. Be kind of cool if I could get a green one o-ring to go in here that one's too big yeah. All right. so let me take that usually just i don't like having it all together while i do this um 
Now I need this guy. It's the easiest one. So you just kind of push down on the O-ring. Sorry, for those of you that know all this stuff, this is obviously boring, but maybe somebody's new. I do this with like every flashlight I get. I take it apart, I tweak shit, because you know, you want to make it your own colorway, your own accessories, the switch is important to me, all that kind of stuff. I know it's overkill for a lot of you guys, but hey. Like that switch cover alone would have drove me nuts. No issue standing. Boom. Awesome. All right. So we have our flashlight dialed in. I want to program it actually. So I want Mo Group 4, low, and then some options. That's high. So let's see if it has reversing or uh, memory. So put it on this mode for a second. Turn it off. Okay, no memory. It does have the reversing options, I think. Yeah. So is it the wait till group five or option five? Now when I do it, half press, off, half press, off, half press, off, I do not get reversing options. All right, cool. All right, last thing, this is trash too, so we've got a couple of things in the trash pile. The clip. Let's figure the clip out. All right, so optics and everything can go away. Here's my clip selection right here. First thing I want to do see like this clip is from uh that's from a barrel actually but finish doesn't match this is the deadwood clip here's an okluma clip yeah, it would work but eh. here's a uh, mickey clip brat guy Man, I really like this clip functionally, but it just aesthetically, I feel like it, it's unfinished. It needs like a tumbling and maybe thinned out a little bit. I bought a bunch of them and I should send them to somebody to work on. So I think I'm gonna stick with the stock clip, but I'm gonna take, I got these from Mickey too. Shout out to Mickey at Brack Eye Enterprises. These are black screws. So I think they'll look good with this clip. Kind of match the ball is the idea there. They're not as dark as I want. Let me see. I have ones from Hanko too. They look, yeah. I'm running out of these though. I've used a lot of them lately. These look black where those look brown. So let's not mix these up. These would work in a pinch, I think. But the black looks better to me. I'm trying to match, I'm trying to match the ball at the bottom, right? That's the idea there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's a good length. All right, so I just need one more of those. Oh, and I still have four. Okay, cool. And I got O rings here from. Hanko, we got O-rings, screws, clips, boot covers, switches, <laughs> gaskets, tritium. I got everything for days. Just stocked up. All right. So, oh, should I left one there? Which 
Drop this guy in. So, I think I did actually get it a little bit. Looks a little better. I uh, want to line this up, probably right in the center of those two, right? And then I like to check. Yep, perfect. And I'll just hold down as I tighten because they tend to shift as you tighten. There we go. And then I'm usually not afraid to crank on these because the machining on these flashlights, these guys are incredible. They really are. These guys are incredible. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this. We're good to go. I'll show you that gasket. Should be greenish. Yeah, look at that. We got a little bit of green, and then we got green trit. And then we got a glow O-ring for no reason. But why not? <laughs> right? Why not? Because <laughs> I can, that's why, right? Oh yeah, I'm going to carry this tonight. Hell yes. I love it already. I love the shape of it. This has got to be my favorite design from Dawson uh, and La Lima. The Malini has always stood out to me until I really caught this one. Um, but I'm a little worried about some of the angles on the Malini where this is sleeker. I like that quite a bit. This is gorgeous. Fits the hand really well. Cigar grip is money. Oh, yeah. I'm going to love this light. And pretty damn sure that I... Ooh, wait, hold on. I don't think that's centered. All right, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. So it needs to be centered between those two, right? Where would that be? Right there. Right there. No, stop it. Like I'm seeing the side on this one. I'm seeing it too much. Man, this is going to drive me nuts until I get it. I keep shifting it. Okay. See a little bit of this side. See a little bit of that side. Does that look straight up top? Yeah. See if that pulls it. Yep, that pulled it over quite a bit. All right, there. Good to go. All right, let's see if that holds. See how you can see this side a little bit? And then on this side. Here we go. All right, now hold. All right, that's perfect. Um, yeah, this thing is, this thing is fantastic, dude. I'm stoked on that. Um, that's it, guys. Sorry for the super long one, but uh, if you're interested in any of that stuff, you just uh, got a tutorial on how to change a switch cover, how to change a switch, how to swap a clip. I didn't show you how to tension a clip, but all you do is unscrew this, mount the clip on the back, tighten it all the way down, and then you can use the leverage you have to tighten or loosen. Um but showed you the clip, um, showed you how to remove the driver, put in tritium, definitely do it tighten by hand. Um, showed you the gasket, how to line that up. Uh, showed you how to clean and, you know, do all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'd say it was a pretty successful venture. And I got a sick flashlight. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, yeah, I'm definitely a monochromatic guy. If you didn't know this about me, this is one of my favorite colorways, right? Like, it's just such a clean look to me. Um, here's one of our knives, right? Black with satin and everything. Definitely want to do this version because the blue looks good, but I also want to do one with, with just silver because it looks fantastic. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. I love you guys. Appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. 
and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.